Picture this. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Across the world, classrooms are silent, except for the scratch of pencils and the rustle of exam papers. But inside those students' heads? Fog, heavy eyelids, brains still warming up. And yes, this exact moment, 9 a.m., is when we've decided to measure their intelligence, their preparation, their future. But here's the twist. Science has been screaming for decades that this is the worst possible time to test teenagers. Why, then, do we still cling to morning exams? The answer lies not in biology, but in railways, factories, and centuries-old traditions we never bothered to change. Chronotype versus exam timing. A Dutch study tracking over 700 students revealed something strange. Night owls, students whose bodies naturally thrive in the evening, scored significantly worse on 9 a.m. exams than their early rising peers. But when the same students sat exams after lunch, the performance gap vanished. In other words, those test scores weren't just measuring knowledge, they were measuring whether your body clock lined up with the school's clock. One researcher summed it up perfectly. We're grading students on their biological luck. The teenage brain versus early mornings. Here's what biology tells us. During puberty, the human body clock shifts forward. Teenagers are wired to fall asleep later and wake up later. Dr. Mary Karskaden of Brown University puts it bluntly. Asking teens to perform at 8 or 9 in the morning is like asking adults to do it at 4 a.m. Think about that. Every morning exam, every 9 a.m. test is essentially academic jet lag. The costs? Real and measurable. Reduced focus, weaker memory, higher stress, even long-term impacts on mental health. It's like forcing a Formula One car to race on an empty tank. The engine roars, but sputters before it crosses the finish line. Why 9 a.m.? Blame trains, not brains. So why did we land on this rigid 9 to 5 schedule in the first place? The roots lie in the 19th century. When railways expanded across Europe and America, they created a problem. Every town kept its own local time. Noon in Bristol wasn't the same as noon in London, but trains demanded precision. So in 1847, Britain adopted railway time, a single standardized clock for the entire country. By the 1880s, the US followed, carving the nation into time zones. Schools, built to prepare children for industrial life, copied the rhythm of factories, bells, shifts, strict schedules. Learning wasn't the goal, efficiency was. Oxford researcher Dr. Paul Kelly puts it best. We've been running schools on 19th century railway time in a 21st century world. Science says, start later, learn better. But what happens when schools dare to break free? Dr. Kelly tested it in a high school in England. Start time shifted from 8.50 a.m. to 10 a.m. The results were staggering. Illness-related absences dropped by half. Academic progress jumped by 12%. That's the equivalent of adding nearly an extra year of learning. And when the schedule shifted back to earlier starts, the gains disappeared almost overnight. The message is clear. This isn't theory. This is biology in action. A question of tradition versus science. Exams have always carried the weight of tradition. In ancient China, the imperial exams decided who would become government officials. Tests so grueling, they sometimes lasted three full days. Students locked in exam halls, ink and paper, their only tools. Centuries later, Europe adopted similar models, not to measure creativity or critical thinking, but to sort and discipline. The factory model of schooling reinforced it. Early mornings, rigid schedules, standardized testing. But now we know better. If exams are supposed to measure intelligence, knowledge, and skill, why are we still testing students before their brains have even clocked in for the day? Or to put it more bluntly, 9 a.m. exams? You might as well ask a goldfish to do algebra. So next time we wonder why students are struggling, maybe we should ask a different question. Are we testing their minds or just their alarm clocks?